What's up, everybody? It's Pykel with League of Items, and the spring season is basically over. So before we get into playoffs, I wanted to make a video about every team, um, just to give an update on what we think about the team in general. Uh, if you want to support the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out Thrive Fantasy. All the details are in the description below. Sign up using the promo code Pykel. But let's just get into the actual video. So no music today. Sorry. Um, but we're going to start with Astralis. So Astralis as a team is pretty concerning for two reasons. One, they're bad. Two, they're old. And that's a really horrible combination in League of Legends, especially when you're in a region that has teams that are younger than you and better than you. And basically everyone in the LEC is younger than Astralis. Uh, Kabe, White Knight, and Zenzar are all at or are are, are all over 25. Uh, the last I checked, they were 25. And then uh, Promise Q is 27, right? So Promise Q is somebody who probably shouldn't be in the league anymore, and it's not because I don't like them as a person. It's just there's no upside to having a player like Promise Q on your team. Um, so I think he's probably gone at the end of this year for sure. Maybe they, they let him stay, stay for summer to have some continuity, um, but they'd probably be better off getting rid of him. And I think they already announced that they are getting rid of him. Zenzara... Um, He's a funny guy. I love listening to him in the interviews and stuff like that, but he's just not a very mechanically skilled player. I think that he understands the game well. Maybe he transitions into being a coach at some point, but his talent level is just not where it needs to be in the LEC. Um, he's one of, if not the oldest junglers, and he's just not very good. Uh, if you were on a team that's trying to win now, like, sure, maybe, maybe it makes sense, but it doesn't even because he's not talented enough. But that's how you can kind of justify having an older player like Core JJ, for example. Um, but Zenzara, I don't know if, I don't think he's gone. Um, I think he might be coming back for the summer. White Knight, I think he's actually gone. Uh, and he's really not the problem. I think White Knight overall has been a very good, a very consistent player for Astralis over the last couple of splits. But he's been on teams that just don't have talent around him that could like you know, support his play style. I don't think he's the issue at all. Um, that's kind of unfortunate for him. Uh, Kabe is your typical do-nothing AD carry. Uh, he can carry in the late game if the team is close enough, but he's not going to give you that playmaking upside to create an advantage in the bottom lane for himself, really. Uh, this was kind of a meta that would have been good for him. The Jinx of Elios meta should have been a good meta for Astralis, I think. Um, but again, the talent around them just isn't good enough. Uh, and then you have the 18-year-old Dajor, so he's the young guy that they're going to build around, and that's really what you have to do. You have to get rid of at least three of these players, probably. I would say you have to get rid of Zanzara. You have to get rid of Promise Q. You can keep Kabe and White Knight and build around Dajor. You can try doing that. I don't know if Dajor is going to be good enough to build around in the future, but that's really your only option. Like, you have to burn this team to the ground. You have to burn this team to the ground, basically if you're Astralis, because it didn't work out, obviously. Their record this year, or this split, was 3-15. and 15. Um, They had a win over Fnatic, which is good. They had a win over Rogue, which is good. Um, and a win over SK, which is really nothing special. Um, so it shows that, like, in the right draft environment, Kabe and Dajor are good enough to be the carries on a team that can beat Fnatic and Rogue, but not consistently. Like, you're, not, you're just not going to beat those teams consistently. So I think, really... Going into the season, we didn't expect them to be very good. They were uh, bottom of the table team, and unexpect they were not expected to make playoffs, and that's kind of where they ended up. So they finished in last place. Sucks to suck. Burn it to the ground. Um, maybe build around Dajor. But and if you're going to, you might as well do it right now. There's no reason to keep the team the same in the summer. So they've already gotten rid of White Knight and Promise Q, I think. You might as well get rid of Zenzara and just see what you can do in the future. So that's all I've got for you in this video. I'm going to do one for each team. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out the promo code PYKEL for thrivefantasy.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.